Hello everybody. Uh, I just wanted to do a quick run through tonight. One of the things that I wanted to talk about was greatest common factor. The other thing I wanted to talk about was least common multiple. More specifically, I wanted to talk about how to use a factor tree to find each of them. So let's start off with two simple numbers. Let's say 10 and 25. So the first thing I need to do is make a factor tree for each one. What are the factors of 10? Obviously 10 and 1. But we don't really care about those because they're not very useful to us. I'm going to pick the others, 2 and 5. 2 is a prime number, so I'm going to underline it. And so is 5. So I'll underline it as well. And that tells me to stop. For 25, its two factors are 5 and 5. And since 5 is a prime, I will underline them both. The trick to finding greatest common factor is what factors are shared between the two. If I look, I see that there's a 5 in common between the two. So I'm going to put a circle around it. Now there's another 5 here, and sure, it's shared, but keep in mind that 10 only has one 5 as a factor, so you can only circle one 5 from the 25. Now, the 2 is not shared, so I'm going to put a box around it for now. And the 5 is not shared, so I'm going to put a box around it for now. The greatest common factor is all the stuff that's circled from a single number. So if I look at 10, what is circled is 5. If I look at 25, what's circled is 5. They each have a 5 circled and nothing else. So the greatest common factor is 5. The least common multiple There are a couple ways to find it, but using the factor tree, the easiest way is to take one of the numbers, it doesn't matter which one, and I'll show you why. Take one of the numbers and multiply it by what's in the square on the other side. 25 times 2 is 50. So the least common multiple is 50 doesn't matter which one I pick, because if I had started from 10, what's in the box on the other side is 5. 10 times 5 is 50. So the least common multiple is 50. Now these are easy numbers. Let's try it with little harder numbers. Let's say I want to find the greatest common factor and least common multiple of Let's say 24 and 42. Well, I can already see just from knowing my times tables one of the factors in common I know is going to be 6. Because I know from my times tables that 6 times 4 is 24. 6 times 7 is 42. I can follow the factor tree further and break this down. 6 is 2 times 3, so I can do that for each one. And 2 and 3 are prime. 2 and 3 are prime. 4 factors into 2 and 2, which is prime. And 7 is already prime, so I'm not going to touch it anymore. What's shared between the two? Well, the two is shared. A single two is shared, I should say. And the three is shared. And I wrote these as primes because that's what the procedure tells me to do. But in reality, 
those of you who saw, I could have stopped at six because I could see there that they're already shared and there wasn't really any need to take it any further. Whichever you prefer, I suppose. Now, there are two twos over here that are not used. And there's a 7 over here that's not used. So I box those. Greatest common factor is going to be the factors that are multiplied or that are circled for any single one. So that would be 2 times 3 because they're in the circles, and that makes 6. The least common multiple will be one of the numbers times what's on the other side. So 24 times 7 is 168. You'll have to believe me on that one. If I did it the other way, I'd say 42, but what's it going to? It's going to 2 but it's also going to a 2. Remember, these are factors, and everything is multiplied together. So I'm going to take that 42, and I'm going to multiply it by 2. 42 times 2. And then I'm going to multiply it by 2 again. As if I had multiplied it by 4 up here. 42 times 2 is 84. 84 times 2 is, you guessed it, 168. Now I want to show you one more case. And that would be when you have numbers such as 18 and 36. If you already see what's what I'm going to do, then don't jump ahead. Or don't spoil it for the others. 18 factors into 9 and 2. 36 factors into 9 and 4. If you're of the type that sees, okay, they have a 9 in common, I can stop there. You can stop there. Or if you prefer to go down to the primes, 9 is 3 times 3, 9 is 3 times 3. So you'll see they're shared. Whichever you prefer. Just don't. Make sure you stay. If you go to primes, stay on a prime. If you go stop here, stay stopped here. It's Your greatest common factor is not going to be 9 times 3 times 3. It's 9, which is also 3 times 3. That's why I suggest you pick one way and stick with it. Now, 2 is prime, 4 is not prime, 4 is 2 times 2. And now I see another factor that's shared, a 2. I'm going to get rid of the circle around this 9 just to not just to put it out of my mind, the thought of using it. I don't want to be tempted to use that 9. So let's find, what is greatest common factor? The greatest common factor is going to be everything that's, multi or everything that's circled on one side multiplied together. 3 times 3 times 2. That's everything under 18. So it makes sense that my greatest common factor is 18. 18 times 2 is 36. That's why I had a 2 left over. So if I want to find the least common multiple, I can start with a number and say, multiply it by what's left on the other side. What's left on the other side is nothing. So it's just 36. And I can verify that by taking my 18 and 
multiplying it by that 2 and getting 36. This method always works. It's probably the easiest way I've found to do least common multiple, especially if you're already doing greatest common factor. I hope this helped, and if you have any questions or comments, please leave me a comment. Thank you.